Well, the challenges of writing from a dog's point of view are pretty obvious. I mean, a dog can't speak, so a dog can only communicate with gestures. And a dog doesn't have thumbs and can't, can't do simple things like, you know, turn doorknobs and stuff like that. On the other hand, a dog has certain assets that uh, I found very helpful. Uh, dogs have greater access than people do. In terms of, say, going off with people, people will say things in front of a dog they wouldn't say in front of a person. So Enzo was able to go off with the twins, for instance, on a weekend and overhear things that they were talking about that Denny, our protagonist, uh, didn't get to hear. So we, in a sense, uh, got to go along with Enzo and, ex and see behind the scenes of what was really going on. So in that sense, Enzo is sort of the ultimate fly on the wall. And it really was fun to work with that. What does he have access to? What doesn't he? Uh, what can I do? What can I use about his dogness to, to help the story along? And interestingly, one of the other elements is that you know dogs have an ability to sense disease frequently. And this is something I, I didn't make this up. I got this from uh, some magazine articles that I read. And in this book, when Eve gets ill, Enzo is the first one to know about it, and yet he can't tell anyone. He can't get her any help, and so that further kind of develops his feelings of frustrations. He really would like to participate in life in a greater way, and yet he has, he's stuck in his dog body, and so that's, that's the thing he always regrets.